something needs to be um, protected right now, held close, kept quiet. Almost like when a mother first gives birth and the newborn is placed on the mother's chest so that they have that, you know, they can carry on bonding. Um, when you think of newborns, they are so very fragile, but they grow into these amazing people, you know. Um, spirit wants you i'm hearing like a whisper like spirit spirit is whispering something and when i first tapped into this reading i had um the energy of jesus come through the energy of angels come through there's something about protecting the your core values protect your core values protect there's a there's a light of some sort that you're you're supposed to hold on to keep to your chest and protect okay interesting it's good to have you here you guys welcome into my channel if you are new welcome in it's really good to have you here and if you are a returning subscriber soul family it's good to have you back thank you for supporting this channel i appreciate you and thank you for the continued support for Loku's dog and cat care rescue which is based in the east coast of Sri Lanka. it is the only animal rescue center um that looks at um feeding deworming and rehoming animals such as dogs and cats that are just street dogs and cats they have so many out there they even um pay for operations for ones that have been paralyzed um so those of you that have been supporting us thank you so much it is an in i'm losing my words it is an independent charity meaning that it solely runs on donations and just the kindness of others um if you can't afford to donate that's okay if you could just take the link down below for the GoFundMe and share it with as many people as possible um i'd really appreciate that let's see what wants to come out got the three of wands and the ten of pentacles queen of cups the queen of cups has been coming up a lot a lot a lot a lot in my readings to the magician in reverse there's something here nine of we've got the nine of pentacles nine of cups as well there's something here with resources, this person being stressed out about resources. Now you have the three of wands. Your home is very protected. Your home is very, very, very protected. I'm looking at the colours that you have around your home. And when I call in the angels, I call in, in the horizontal plane archangels that have the colours of green, blue, white and red. And all of those colours are in this card someone here as above so below is so connected and so very protected your home may be there's something very important about your home or a sacred place that you have within your home there's sunflowers here as well there's a lot of growth and abundance that comes because of the way that you treat your home like i always say you know good morning to my home and good night and i thank it i thank it every day for sheltering me for keeping me warm for keeping me safe i show show i show gratitude by leaving it blessings and things along those lines just because you know your home and buildings they are an extension of the deva energies of mother gaia they you know they feel the vibrations of the earth and without them we would be homeless obviously but we would be left out to the winds and the rains and the cold and so on and so forth so it's really important that someone here continues their practice of however it is that you give thanks for what it is that you have right now and it doesn't mean that you have to do what i do and actually talk to your home and you know and say thank you it could just be that you have really good feng shui in your home that you keep your your, your home clean it's not even about tidiness because um, not all of us are tidy and I don't think we can judge someone on how messy their home is. Um, it's more about cleanliness and keeping, keep it, there's something about the energy of the home. Because this is a real home. I mean, there's even smoke coming out of the chimney. This is like fairy tale home. So someone here is being, re they're being reminded that they are very protected. Their home is very protected as well because of the way that you've treated it. You've got Archangel Oriel at the front of you. You have Archangel Raphael to your right. You have Archangel Michael behind you. You have Archangel Raph um, Gabriel to your left. That's really beautiful. You then have the Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands. The Three of Wands in reverse is almost like stopping some sort of expansion. And I feel, I feel like this is the reason why... Um, the beginning of this reading was something about you're holding a seed or you're holding a light or 
like Jesus is holding you, an ascendant master is around you and holding you as you build something. It's giving me the energy of like being in incubation, in pregnancy, of, you know, even if the fetus is not fully formed yet, we know that it's going to become a baby. It's going to become a fully formed sentient being with their own autonomy and their own ideas and their own personality. Um, and someone is trying to stop this and what's coming out is this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups here is not liking the expansion or the growth that you're going through. Because that, that home is Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants and aspires to get to Ten of Pentacles. That's a happy family life. And the family life does not have to mean you having your own children if you don't wish to. It could be looking after your grandmother. It could be that you your home is full of cats and that's your family. It could be soul family. It could be friends. It Take it as it resonates. It's just someone is in a really good place right now. Like a really good place. And when you're in a really good place, then other things are easier to foster and nurture to grow, right? If you're feeling like you're in a safe environment, a happy environment, or just an environment that you're very grateful to be in, it's so much easier than to expand that energy out, you know? And it means that whatever you're seeking will seek you even quicker. And you do have someone here who doesn't like this. I mean, they really are trying to shoot down your hot air balloon, and that's a shame. This is somebody here, the Queen of Cups. This person may use some sort of water magic or they may use scrying of some sort and they've been kicked out. The magicians in reverse, they've been kicked out. They're no longer able to use whatever it is that they were using to gain control, I heard, or to, to um, some sort of voyeurism. There's some sort of voyeurism with them looking through this, this in this water. And it's, I saw straight away Harry Potter and I, know, I can't remember which one it is, but in one of the films, Harry Potter, um, he has his head stuck in the water, doesn't he? And there's, I can't remember which teacher's with him, it might be Snape, who pours a memory into the water and then sticks Harry's head into it. And then he's able to go into that memory and see everything. And that's the energy that I'm getting here, that you had someone who was doing that. And they're both in reverse now, which means that water's gone or the memory's gone or the... The ability to do that has gone. I mean, all of these, all of these are, are open. All of these bottles have emptied. Someone's run out of their resources to be able to spy on you in some way. Just remote viewing. I always forget that word, but remote viewing. How interesting. Why were they doing that in the first place? And I had blinded by the lights, and it's given me the song by the weekend. Um, and I said, Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. And that video is weird though, because he's all beaten up and he's got blood everywhere and stuff. Someone here got beaten up by the light. Oh, somebody here got beaten up by the light. Somebody tried to spy on you or spy into your home and got blinded by the light. And it may have actually hurt them in some way. Oh dearie me, stop Look, I had stop, stop sticking your nose where it's not wanted. Someone's guy does not turn about, stop. Stop sticking your nose where it's not wanted, is what I heard. Now let me put the you there. Oops. Now I do apologise if I'm sniffling or I'm a little bit... And it's because I've got a bit of a cold, is what it is. Let's see what else wants to come out. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, please. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, please. What do we need to know about it? Being very quiet today. What have we got here? Strength. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a really, really nice energy that's coming out here. A really nice energy. I don't know why I picked out five cards, but I did. There is the first card that came out is strength. Guarded. Very much guarded. Someone may have a new this around them. Um, there seems to be something that you are nurturing or holding at the moment and it can mean something physical like you could be about to drink your cup of tea but i'm not getting that it's more there's something that you are making space for within yourself that maybe there wasn't space for before and that is what this seed is this is what your guides or these ascendant masters angels are trying to protect for you so that you can fully you can fully integrate that into yourself or you fully can understand, I heard, who you are, what your purpose is. And there's strength here. 
and you see that that lead has been taken off that even the the, the collar's been taken off there's no need for it whatsoever um it's connecting really into your inner trust look love and trust on that i love that love and trust there's something here about trusting yourself this is integrating the solar plexus the sacral chakra and the root chakra all of those colors are there so this is all grounding someone's very very grounded or your space is give bringing in a lot of grounding this could also be to do with a lot of shadow work that you've been doing especially as we have got number eight on there which the eighth house is usually ruled by scorpio having a look at what is in your eighth house eighth house will actually help you in knowing how to navigate further as you there's something about breaking this seed open and allowing this light to shine out we then have the knight of pentacles come out in reverse there is this energy this outside energy that may be trying to come in and they can't because the knight of pentacles in reverse is about the knight of pentacles upright is about something something fortune fortune fortuitous excuse me coming towards you at a very slow pace a very slow pace and it's fine if it comes at a slow pace because what by the time it gets to you it has gathered so much momentum that it's so much bigger than it would be if you just cashed out straight away okay there's something here also with um taking time to see what your limitations are and what your what aren't your limitations or taking things that you may have seen as a weakness or something that was holding you back and being able to build around that and build with it rather than shunning it um i find this card to be very inspiring and i think that's the reason why it's next to the, the um strength card but this three of wands there may have been a blockage at some point there may have been some sort of blockage to actually looking at this and this actually connects into this feminine energy this queen of cups this is all to do with the home though this is all to do with the home this is not just your home this may also be to do with home life i don't know if people are dreaming about their childhood home or home or going home or going to a place that looks like a home um pay attention to what it is that you remember when you wake up now we also have the nine of pentacles coming out this is independence this is doing things by yourself this is doing things for yourself um and it's not to be mistaken with doing things to the point of being so hyper independent that you kind of board yourself up from anyone ever helping you. This is a healthy version of being able to do things for yourself. Look, pay your own bills, buy your own food, even host a party and it's fine. You can afford to do all of that and you still have food left in the pantry. It's that type of energy of plentifulness, of having, an, having more than enough. And knowing that you earned it, you created it. It's a very abundant card. This is giving me Empress vibes as well. Why would you like me to put that one? You would, wouldn't you? Okay, so the Queen of Cups has the Nine of Pentacles here. This person, there's something about this person wanting some sort of independence. Or not liking your independence or trying to stifle your independence in some way. You then have the Three of Swords coming out. And the Three of Swords in the upright is about sorrow. And I just heard in my head, why do you explain each one of them? And I think it's because, one, it's the way that I um, process um, my downloads and my information. And two, you never know who is out there trying to learn tarot. And I really wish that when I was learning tarot, that someone had done that for me and had just explained what the cards mean and how they interlink and how they kind of connect to each other as I was doing the readings, because I think I would have learned a lot quicker. Um, but the three of swords this way is about sorrow grief loss you know it's 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 anything that makes your heart hurt really it could be a breakup it could be the, the this, this is very much missing someone i feel like this could be missing someone this way is about getting through that and being able to heal something here no matter how painful it is now the magician in reverse is stating that there seems to be some sort of um confliction it's like conflict between healing what they don't have after letting you go why am i getting letting you go i'm not going to take the two of swords for now someone here feels do you know what i'm getting from this is that you do have somebody here that it may be from a family home it may be a childhood memory or someone that reminds you of a caregiver or just acts in that um in that manner 
of being like a matriarch or a patriarch or something along those lines who's been very callous um there's someone here that is trying to push into your energy they may not like the fact that you have healed something here by yourself or that you were able to get through some sort of adversity by yourself i want to get some more clarity on this different deck yeah okay. where would you like me to go okay if you see me closing my eyes, I am using my third eye to see where spirit would like me to go. I usually get a pointer, an arrow, something along those lines, and it will tell me which card to pick up. So we have here judgment in reverse. Judgment. Why have we got judgment showing up for the Ten of Pentacles and Strength card? It's a blockage. Strengthen your boundaries around your home. For, for those who have um, like acres or land around your home, there's something about doing a sweeping cleanse or like angelic fire of some sort. Allow, if you have a pet dog, allow your dog to go around on a lead. No, without the lead on and see where they stop because wherever they stop is where you need to bless it. You have the seven of wands coming out to judgment. Someone is very, very, um, I heard catty. They're being very catty about something that you have. And it's not just to do with physical. This is to do with, it's to do with in. It's your faith within. It's your ever, your ever believing like hope and faith that things will get better. Why do we get judgment? Do you want me to keep this, put it away? Okay. Can I get another one for uh, Seven of Wands? Clarity on Seven of Wands, please. Ten of Pentacles, strength. Thank you. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, Three of Wands, and Death. Okay. So someone's been able to turn their home into, a, turn their house or their apartment into an actual home. This is giving me the energy of someone looking at how far you've come and not understanding why even when there's been adversity you found the strength to make wherever you are your home not just somewhere that you're putting your head down on and that's irrespective if you are living in a car in a shelter in your own home in your dad's garage whatever that may be there's this energy of placing your energy on it and then it being protected because there's something that you are growing within yourself that is going to help bless others and I don't mean that you're just going around like, you know, Jesus going, I bless you, I bless you. It's almost, there's something within you that is going to help you and help others. And I don't know how to explain it. But the Nine of Swords, it's because you've been through adversity. You know what it feels like. You've been there. You've had to fight through that. You have the Five of Wands here to the Nine of Swords. This is like worrying about being attacked or being harmed. or And maybe you have been in harm's way. So I, I will put a trigger warning there. Um... Then you have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands came out in the second row as well about expansion, about moving on from something and then death here. This is like being stuck in a karmic cycle. Being stuck in a karmic cycle. Why? What's this karmic cycle about? Especially with the first row with Ten of Pentacles. And it's, it's coming out the other side. It's coming out the other side. Because you have... The six of wands here. This is success. This is victory after being in the five of wands, after being in that confrontation, being maybe even in a physical alteration. Please know that I am not um, qualified in areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health. If anything like that does come up in these readings and it really resonates for your story or what you may be going through, either in the past, now, in the future, please ensure that you actually reach out to someone who is qualified and can give you the advice, guidance and support that you may need that is in a professional stance before taking anything from me. Now that I've done my legal disclaimers, let's get back to this. Um, there's something that is being protected and I feel like it's your story, but it's more than that. Your inner strength, there's something about your inner, inner strength, your solar plexus is keeping it so important. And you're being, your story's being protected. You're being told to keep it close to yourself. And it doesn't mean that you aren't supposed to share the experiences that you've been through. But there is something, it's almost like a sentient idea is going to be given to you. And you may have already been given like um, 
the the basis the basics for the foundation of whatever this idea is i truly believe that every idea that comes to us that we're like oh my gosh i should do that app or oh my gosh i should start that shelter or oh my gosh i should start i could i should i should create this inv inv invention because it would help so many people and i'd also get paid and then we sit on it and we do nothing about it and then life just goes on and then a year later five years later someone on the other side of the world they create your invention and it is play by play exactly what you would have done and it's because it was never your idea in the first place it was coming straight from source and source was going you are the most perfect and best vessel that can birth this into life and it will help not only you and the people around you but people that more people and more people and more people like a butterfly effect but because you sat on it it's got to go to the next the next viable best source and and vessel will be that person over there there's some sort of seed of an idea that is forming for someone here it's slowly forming you may already know what this idea is and you are being it's being protected and I don't know if you work from home or if you get your best ideas when you get home from work. It may be as you're trying to get to sleep or when you're waking up. You might get the, you might get um, little bits of messages or ideas or creativity when you wake up from sleep and you're remembering your dreams. Whatever it is, there's something about this home that is very important in how this is fostered. And that is why there is so much angelic protection around you at this time. And I heard forever, it will always be around you. And I just saw like a statue of Jesus again as well. Someone may have lots of statues of Jesus. Maybe you're being asked to bury a statue of Jesus or an ascendant master that, you know, that you work with or that you are more desired towards. Um, but there is something about the experiences and things that you've been through that brings, I don't know, such inspiration to other people. But you're being told, like, don't, your idea's not ready yet. I mean, take it as it resonates. But if you're read, if you're listening to this message and it really resonates, your guides, I keep seeing this, shh, shh, they're not, it's not ready yet. Because there is still this outside energy. And this outside energy does not have to be this big, big evil queen, big evil snow white queen that wants to come in with a poison apple. It can literally be a family member or somebody that you used to kick it with. It could be a co-worker, an ex-lover. It could be somebody. This is like old energy. And unfortunately, sometimes that old energy can have large cords or thick cords connected to us. Because as we... As we progress and we're going through our ascensions and we're moving on to higher timelines, just because we're on a higher timeline doesn't mean that our brother, sister, uncle, grandmother have actually shifted with us, but we're still seeing them on a weekly basis. Do you know what I mean? There's something here that needs to be let go, cleansed of. Let me place this here. Let me place you there. And you've also got the King of Cups coming through. There's something that you've been extremely victorious in when it comes to how you nurture your masculine side and that's irrespective of your gender because we hold both masculine and feminine um completely divine energies and this is how you forge forward with love or this is how you foster something with love rather than with fear rather than just being react reactor reactive and i keep i keep tripping over my words and i wonder why that is because i wasn't doing that in my previous reading in my previous reading it was completely different let me see, let me pop you down there and put you down there. So this is about a karmic cycle that is coming to end or it has ended. One last thing I heard, one last thing. Let's put you there. I really would like a drink. Oh my goodness. One last thing. Now tell me about, I get a different deck? No. Tell me about the Three of Wands in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles though. Ace of Wands, High Priestess, one last thing. There's one last thing that you have to do, High Priest or High Priestess. One last thing when it comes to healing and heartache, because we've got the Three of Swords there as well in reverse. Something that you've been healing from, even when you didn't feel like you had either the energy, the time, the space to do so. What is it? Ace of Pentacles is coming out. 
Let me just put that back. Yeah, okay. Ace of Wands, an action, an actionable step, something that you, you're supposed to be doing right now that is going to help you either stay in this high priest or high priestess energy, or it's going to be, excuse me, confirmation verb, it's going to be pushing you into that energy. The thing is, though, with that Three of Swords, it may cause pain. You've got the Eight of Cups coming out. It's almost like there is a sacrifice that needs to be made. There's a sacrifice coming through here. It could be like Pluto energy. Mm. Three of Wands. There's something here that just isn't viable. Or there, there's something here that just isn't... It's not prosperous for you to continue walking on that path. I don't know if, especially like with this Ten of Pentacles card here, because the thing is, it talks about a happy home life, right? Not all of us have happy home lives. Some of us have had to create our own happy home life away from our nucleus. Now, I don't know if this is stating with these cards here, Ace of Wands, this is something that you're going to have to do in your own time at your own pace. Um, if you wish to continue on the road of being the high priest or high priestess or getting yourself to that, that stature. And it does, unfortunately, it may cause pain. It may cause a sadness because it's really letting go. Because you have the Eight of Cups here, something that's overwhelming. But I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles and I'm thinking about what I just said about when it comes to um, either whoever this Queen of Cups is to you, whether this is a friend from the past, a family member, a co-worker that you've known for a really long time. Um, whatever it may be for you, there is, I feel like maybe the path has always been open, even if there is protection here from angels. There's always been a path for that person to come back. Like, it's okay, the door's open. If you decide that you want to mature or that you wish to talk about whatever stop, brought our distance or maybe there is healing that needs to be done, my door's always there for you. You just have to knock on it and you can come in. There may be like an encouragement that no, the door stays locked and you remove that path. Not because they're a bad person or maybe you feel like they are, but more than anything, because the paths do not cross forever. We don't always walk with other people in our lifetime, you know, having this human experience from the start to the beginning. And sometimes that can be quite painful, especially if it's someone that we've spent a long or a large majority of our time growing with, because that could be a father, it could be a mother, it could be an aunt, a grandmother, it could be your long term husband or wife or he, she, they that you know it's just not working and it hasn't for the last 10 years. Whatever that may be, there's something about this path breaking up for a reason. There's a reason why it has to be removed. Maybe that path was completely straight and smooth and now it's slowly been breaking down over time. But it has it, it seems that it needs to for you to con continue with this contentness of being in the Ten of Pentacles. Do you want me to get a different, yeah, I need to get a different card. I'm just figuring out which one you want me to take. I'm going to take this one. Okay. Six of Cups. This is a past. In the past, you have somebody here who kind of neglected, they, they neglected their children or they neglected people around them so that they could look like they were independent. Whoever this person is for you, they really fed off of um, being, it's not about having the finer things in life with this Nine of Pentacles card. It's more saying that they were self-made when other people were giving them things got the high priestess in reverse to the fall in reverse exactly somebody who was saying look look what i've got i got that from all of my hard work but that hard work wouldn't have been they wouldn't have been able to have that hard work if people around them didn't support them so it could have been for example that they had children and the only way that they got themselves through med school is because you were always looking after their children or always picking up the kids and bringing them home or the only reason why they were able to build up that business is because you gave them the loan right at the beginning. Otherwise, they would not have had the money nor the business acumen to be able to be where they are now. But they're still saying, well, I'm independent. I've done this by myself. You can take this as somebody with the high priestess in reverse. 
as somebody who is purposely trying to stop your path with magic or juju or whatever that may be or you can look at it as somebody who has almost like they have abused their their position of power to gain what they want in life and they're not giving you credit and if they're not giving you credit why are they still in your life and i know that sounds very callous but when you think about whoever it is that you're thinking of think of a time when you may have felt like um they didn't appreciate you or they let you down and now pretend that you are talking to a friend of yours your best friend and your best friend is telling you about their partner and that this is what their partner's doing to them what would your advice be and that's irrespective of if that is your mum or your cousin or your best friend or whoever it is that's actually doing this boundaries are boundaries and it's it's there's there's something here with it being difficult to really cut ties because of who they are and yeah you've got the five of cups here but then you've got the emperor in reverse it's like wanting to almost like wishing that there was another way now only take this if this resonates and use your discernment also please only you know use your discernment and as long as you are in a safe as long as it's safe for you to cut ties with this person knowing that you will not physically be harmed then take this advice if it, it resonates if it doesn't resonate or you feel like you would be unsafe doing so there is definitely a need for you to reach out to the appropriate services in either law finance mental health or physical health um to gain the support that you need before doing so the five of cups here in reverse this is about feeling wanted it's feeling um it's feeling wanted it's feeling valued it is feeling like there's something about emotional completion or an emotional satisfaction that this high priestess in reverse kind of gained from being able i don't know if they were able to say well i did this or the only reason that collective were able to succeed in a certain way is because of me oh did you hear about collective oh yes i yeah yeah that's me that's all me yeah that's my daughter that's my son that's my cousin oh that's my best friend yeah you know they, they are only where they are because i encourage them to go into that area or because of this and this and this oh did you see how much they healed that was me yeah i talked to them every night when they were sad i healed them it's that type of energy so irrespective of whether they're going look what i've got and this is all mine i'm taking all the credit or whether they're taking credit for your achievements this person seems to thrive on um they seem to thrive it's th there's a pick me energy coming from this person that's irrespective of their gender or why did i say gender i meant to say um age or maybe even gender you have the emperor here in reverse the emperor in reverse to the fall in reverse this is like thwarting other people's ideas autonomy um their will to push forward or to forge forward because when you think of the emperor the emperor is like a really big energy this is a leader this is someone who i mean look at this dude sitting on his chair with like this big gold scepter and he's also got a, a gun in his hand so i'm going to kind of hide that um but he's looking like a bad man you know he looks he looks really empowered kind of like you are not gonna mess with him because he has worked very hard to get to the throne to get where he is in reverse though it's like that's just been taken away or someone here has worked very hard only to be told no you can't have that you can be second best and i know the emperor in reverse is more than that but that's what i'm getting here with the fool and i don't know if why is this giving me like the energy of feeling the, the feeling of having expectations placed against you or against someone in the collective that this is the unit this is the family unit or the friendship unit or the relationship um you know pattern from the past where you over gave gave or you had to pay a certain amount of money to your elders or you just have to do these things and it doesn't matter if you are the one that worked really hard for all these things you're not going to get the credit for it but it's expected from you you're expected to do all of this and to care for that person and to do this and do that and it's actually by co-creating and kind of accepting that there is a disempowerment here that's happening with the fall in reverse and the emperor in reverse 
and the five of cups in reverse to so the high priestess in reverse it's just saying that this person kind of fills their cup up by being overly supported or overly given to by others and then they will not give you any credit for it whatsoever this is working your butt off to provide for another person be that physically going to work and paying someone's rent or helping them with their bills and them just going yeah right thanks whatever not really caring or whether this is emotionally putting time into a person only for them to be like whatever i don't care i'm gonna do that for you that nine of pentacles this card with all of this food and all of these riches on the table takes a completely different um what's the word it takes a completely different vibe and a different and when you look at it now this isn't just about independence i can do this by myself this is an illusion this is someone pretending that they are the ones that put the food on the table when really they were stealing it from your mouth they were taking it from your pocket or they were guilt tripping someone in here into putting it on the table rather than rather than allowing them to have it for themselves whatever it is that you are nurturing right now be that a bit an idea that can become a business be that like i said an app or a shelter or whatever it may be this credit is to go to you and you only you are the you are the star you are the one that is going to be getting this and look yes yeah, seven of cups in reverse you are the only viable option the only viable option for this and there's something about keeping this person at arm's length, like getting rid of that path. So yeah, they know where you live, they can knock at your door, but they're not kind of, they're not being rolled out a red carpet. And there's no longer this energy of, well, I used to always give to you because that's just what we did and that was our roles, to now I don't need to give to you. And I, I'm feeling like there isn't any, there doesn't seem to be like any animosity or anger towards this person because sometimes if this is like a family member dysfunction just grows and it's there and it's just part of life if this is a friendship group and you are always the one that has to drive everyone home from a party so you have to stay sober it's more than that it's like always being the one to put the effort in to go and see your friends and to drive to see your friends or get the trains or cross country or whatever and they make no effort to see you the minute that you stop trying is when that friendship will end because they were never putting in the same effort as you. The minute that you stop trying with this person, this Queen of Cups, is when this, this will end. And maybe someone here is kind of knowing that and not wanting that to be true. There needs to be also this, just an understanding that if you stop trying and they come running, but they've never run towards you before, they've never made an effort before, there's the cycle. There's this karmic cycle that we first started with, with the Ten of Pentacles, that, that one row, talking about whatever it is that you are going to create, whatever's coming forth from you in pure light, this thing that you are growing, this seed that you are planting, that is just for you to have the credit. It's, that I'm hearing like applause and a praise and like an encore, encore. People want to know about your experience, not your experience as an extension of someone else this cycle this karmic cycle that you've been through it's got it's not that it's going to continue and continue and continue it's just that it's being really drawn out at the moment because there is something here this one more thing that hasn't been done yet so i don't know why i'm getting for some people you could be estranged from whoever it is that is usually the one that's pulling at your heartstrings and kind of like emotionally manipulating to a certain degree. They may know that they're doing this. They may not know that they're doing this. They may be doing it with spell work. They may be just doing it with words. You take it as it resonates. But there's a need to close that chapter completely. I mean completely. Mm. Wee what we've got here oh i've got a confirmation back as well knight of pentacles has come out again knight of pentacles has come out again this is kind of and then you've got the king of pentacles this is like no matter how much you give to a certain person and i don't know why i'm getting family for someone no matter how much you give to somebody it's never going to be good enough 
it's like your mum or dad telling you like my mum told me when I, when I was in my 20s I you know I yo-yo dieted when I was younger and I'm like I don't care now if I put some pounds on I put some pounds on if I lose them I lose them I don't know how much I weigh to be quite honest and I haven't I haven't weighed myself in a very very long time I think it's toxic um but when I was in my 20s I remember my mum taking me to Pizza Hut or something along those lines and you know buying me a pizza and then telling me that I'm fat and it's like really is that is that the way that we is that how we do it i mean <laughs> my mom is mediterranean and it's a that is a mediterranean thing to do okay but it's that type of energy there of like um no matter what you're doing you're going to be told that it's not enough or hey what about that because if i go the other way then my mom will tell me that i'm too skinny and i'm not just you know i'm not jabbing at my mom because i love my mom but I was just using that as an example. You have the kick, the Knight of Pentacles again in reverse. It's the second time it's come out on the deck. And I'm putting it next to the Five of Cups in reverse to the High Priestess. This is maybe there being an empty feeling within this Queen of Cups, whoever that is for you, who can no longer kind of, they can't get into your energy the way they did before. They can't almost like siphon your abundance the way they did before because it almost seems like it's strained or that you're not with them anymore. The King of Pentacles here, this is a business idea. The Emperor being in reverse to the Fool, this is like, I don't know why I'm getting any idea that you had was kind of shot down. Or if you had great ideas, the credit was, again, the credit was taken. I think I need to move on from that because I'm just saying the same thing over and over. Can you tell me about the Magician? Why is the Magician so far away from everything else? Four of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so the Magician seems to be separated from everything else in that i only did it that way because i wanted to have the first cards like the ten of pentacles the three of wands the queen of cups and the magician facing me this way and then the rest of them are on the, the table going towards me and that's the only viable space i had next to the camera stand that i've got but it seems like it's been done on purpose then because there is a massive divide between the first three rows and then the magician over here having nothing Mm. the first card that came out to give clarity was the four of pentacles which is about control but i heard greed control and greed and you have the ace of pentacles Do you want to take the ace of pentacles no okay clarity on the four of pentacles please to the three of swords oh that does not want to go together that's very blocked let me pull them out and we'll do it again let me have my drink Let's see. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Again, it does not want to go together. Okay, what is this resistance? Three of Wands. Three of Wands has come out already. We already had the Three of Wands come out in the first deck. The first uh, row, excuse me. The Three of Wands is in reverse. So there definitely seems to be some sort of controlling element here trying to resist some sort of healing because it's very overwhelming because it will leave someone feeling abandoned or feeling alone because if you are cutting off a family member or you're cutting off um, a long-standing relationship it can feel like you've lost a limb right strength is coming out again and then you've got the two of swords in reverse there really is a need here to stand strong and I know that sounds very cheesy and it's easy to say, but you have Seven of Pentacles as the last one that I'm going to pull out here, which is about taking time to rest, to reflect and to kind of review where you've been and how far you've come. And the fact that this is by itself may also be that this experience may feel very isolating or it may make you feel like you haven't got anyone to lean on because this doesn't have to be one person this could be an entire friend group this could be an entire portion of your family that you're no longer going to speak to or you haven't been speaking to and you needed that confirmation to go oh i'm doing the right thing actually and it can be very isolating but there seems to be an encouragement here that the universe wouldn't provide you with these lessons if they didn't think that you were strong enough to, to go through them or to learn what it was that the, they, the universe wanted to provide you with. The fact that you have been through a massive cycle and you have come out victorious is so telling of your character. 
of how far you've come. And again, when we go back to the start again, of how protected and highly favoured you are. And I know that that sounds very cheesy and so on and so forth, but you are. You literally are. Strength being, somebody here has got like quite a few animal totems or animals looking after them, protecting them. Somebody's got a massive dragon. Look at that dragon. Amazing. Someone's got a dragon. Someone has a dog or a jackal. And I'm hearing this, oh, such an, oh, I think this is such an awful song. It's Aerosmith. Um, Cause I miss you babe and I don't want to miss a thing. And I will die on that hill saying that it's an awful, it's an awful, um, it's an awful, awesome, I can't speak today. It's an awful film and it's an awful song because Aerosmith have done some really good songs and that one was absolute poop. Now, the lovers has come out. So this may be somebody, it may be a person that you're being asked to let go of. For others, there is this energy of knowing that everything is temporary. And for one door that closes, as very cheesy and cliche as that sounds, another one opens. And look at that. There is the key opening the new door, that new lock that opens to a new life. What else do we need to know about um, what it is that is being formulated like in, in incubation? And I just saw, shh. So maybe that there is no need to go any further than to say the Three of Cups. This is a celebration. I heard it's everything that you've wanted and more. It's everything you've wanted and more. That's amazing. So no more. I heard put it down. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, so family, hearts, is that a heart? Yep. Kisses. I love you guys. My readings will be closing very, very soon. If you would like to gain a reading, please have a look at the information down below. Um, all of my information on pricing and services is down there. Just click on the little word that says more and it will drop down the box for you so you can see that. Please do not be scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. I will never reach out to you. There has been, I've noticed in some of the comments, um, the community boards, people pretending to be me, um, leaving a ridiculously long answer saying something about some sort of orphanage. The way you know whether or not it's me that is responding is by looking at my handle. So my handle for Bronwyn's Cove Tarot is the Cove 111. If you see that with a, um, a grey highlighted background behind it, then it's me. If it's not there, then that's not me. Okay. I love you guys. See you later. Bye.